Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I, uh, I, I, I promised a little bit of a, a change of pace uh, if you paid attention in Slack and in, in, in Twitter on kind of the format of the meeting. And so one of the things, and I think Al, uh, Alexander will, uh, will appreciate this, is from a community standpoint, we want to be a little bit more consistent in how grooming demos, things like that, can be managed. And so the agenda for today is really going to be more about uh, uh, a year in review. I want to talk a little bit about some of the 2019 priorities. As you can see, uh, now that we have full video here in Austin, um, there are a lot of new faces uh, here internally. And so I want to really kind of uh, do a quick meet and greet on, on that so that you're starting to see names and faces, especially the folks uh, who've been working really in the past, uh, past month or two on some of the reviews, feedback, uh, et cetera, which I think is important. And then, uh, and then really, uh, you know, really again, just talk about what's next. And so, uh, so the spirit of this uh, really doesn't change. In many ways, our grooming was uh, was a culmination of things that were pre-groomed, anyways. And but really, looking at ways to accelerate and scale where we started off with 2018. And then, so that's going to be a big part of what we're going to talk about today. Uh, we're also going to get some upward updates. And so, uh, James and team have been extremely busy uh, with uh, with several others who recently joined us on some some updates to upward. And so, specifically around PHP cloud enablement and some uh, performance updates that I think will really uh, really play well into uh, to, to things like Lighthouse cores, but also you know, what would be expected from a high performance uh, PWA. And so, so with that, so let's, let's kind of go, uh, go through some of those introductions. And then of course, at the end, we'll, we'll save some time uh, to talk a little bit about backlog, uh, any specific items there, because we do want to talk through any questions, really leave it to more open hours, uh, I'm sorry, office hours, and then uh, Q&A at the end. So uh, again, whoop. New year, new faces for 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 PWA. So just a couple couple team announcements here. And so from a product standpoint, um, those who've probably seen seen his name uh, on on Slack uh, and GitHub and others. And so I want to do a couple introductions here. So Andrew Wilcox joins us from uh, from Bizarre Voice. He's actually been involved uh, been involved for the past uh, the past month or two, shadowing everything going into the two that three release. But he's going to be helping me from a product side, really uh, really shape up and and drive now that we're a, a fully uh, you know, fully staffed, fully functional team across what you see is a lot of new faces in engineering. These are just the new people, really, in the last month or two uh, that are going to give us, uh, you know, give us what we need to, to to accelerate, whether it be Venya, some of the developer experience pieces, Upward, um, you name it. And so a lot of that has to do with the, the, you know, the people really here on the call that helped us prove the concept uh, that really are already helping us in the community, that they're also then allowing us to work on some of the big you know, the big strategic pieces of, of, of P2A, which includes things like payments and page builder and, and other aspects like that. And so, so these are, uh, so, so really just, again, uh, new year, new faces here. So I want to introduce Andrew and then kind of go around the room here. We've got that, we've, we've got Caden, I believe Craig may be, uh, may have a conflict, but kind of go around the room, just wave and just kind of just introduce yourself and uh, maybe maybe something, uh, maybe a fun fact. So, Caden, you want to kick, kick us off? Sharky, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. So I'm Caden. Uh, Sharky Sharks on GitHub, if you've seen some stuff on there. So my, <clears throat> yeah, I'm coming in as DevOps and looking at, I uh, want to just support the team uh, as much as we can, getting into a really good CI CD flow and currently working on getting us containerized and uh, want to improve our infrastructure. So anything tooling related, any kind of stuff that you have feedback on, please feel free to reach out. And of course, I'm going to be working with the rest of the team on that too. Um, yeah, that's my main focus. Perfect. Uh, I believe Craig may have a, co a conflict, but Ke uh, Craig is actually our engineering manager, and so uh, he's going to be a big part of, of how you know how we've got here, but how we're how we're going. So he, he's just come back from holidays. He supports other projects uh, than PWA, but really, really great guy. He just joined us in the past couple weeks uh, as well, and so I'll, I'll I'll keep going here and hand it off to Stephen, who yep. day two. Yeah, day yeah. two. A lot of stuff. Uh, I'm Stephen. I followed Andy over here from VV or Bizarre Voice. Um, Andy and Andrew. Um, yeah, so just a uh, front end engineer uh, looking to see where I can help out. Uh, fun That's fact. Right. He, followed, he followed Andy. We didn't even hire him. He just won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just saw him come over here to the domain and I was like, oh, okay, let's wander in this building. Um, fun fact, um, I was about to become a father, so that's interesting. Uh, no idea what I'm doing, so. <laughs> I mean, in fatherhood, front end engineer, I can. I can All right. That. <laughs> right. There's no backlog for that. It's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and Andrew's like going to be a new father as well. And so that's going to be a big theme for the team. Lots <laughs> of babies. Yes. Yes. For... It is. It was part of the interviewing process. Too, so. <laughs> Not really. 
Um, excellent. So, uh, and then Andy, I know you're, uh, you're, you're under the weather. And so uh, feel free to do your best uh, there from, from remote. I know you joined here a month or so. People, people have known and seen you, but probably haven't heard from you. Yeah, I, uh, I just kind of snuck into the building one day and, uh, and they haven't kicked me out yet. So, so <laughs> no, I came over from Bizarre Voice, uh, like Steven mentioned. Um, uh, yeah, front end engineer. I don't really know. One interesting thing. I play ice hockey. That, is that interesting? Not really. Oh. It's interesting in Texas. Interesting so in Texas. Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna stick yep. with that one. <laughs> uh, Supernova awesome. on uh, on GitHub. Awesome. It's got a really cool last name. It does. Yeah. It's <laughs> like Terranova. Yep. That's very true. All right, Tommy, uh, round us out of here, sir. Uh, so I am Tommy, uh, full stack engineer. Um, brought on to help out with the upward php project but uh i have also written a few lines of react so uh we'll maybe uh start helping out on the front end front as well uh once upward is wrapped here in a few weeks um fun fact about me i am a uh, a nationally ranked skee-ball player um so watch out for me at chuck e cheese uh, I, <laughs> they national rank. Where all the competitive yeah. ski balling happens, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I'm actually a national champion. I am national. So, wow. Uh, Are you was... sponsored? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, actually. Uh, yes. Uh, Coors Original, the Yellow Belly. Um, <clears throat> delicious. <laughs> Make sure you get that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll pick another one. Uh, and I already have a job. But uh, we are welcoming our. Oh, that's a new. That. That's a so new fact. Yeah. Everybody. The whole team's gonna be out for four. Yeah. Months. When are you? Uh... <laughs> uh, in June. So I'm probably the the long straw. All right. <laughs> very good. We were very lean for very long, uh, but uh, but you know that's that, that's exciting. So. Um, well, good. And then, and Tommy, you've been with Magenta for a while, right? I, I, I mean, I'm looking around the room. New is kind of relative. Uh, uh, two years, which yeah. seems like uh, a long time. Yep. So very good. Excellent. And then just rounding things up, uh, we've got uh, we've got a QA uh, QA engineer starting next week as well. And so as you can see, you know, depending on your math, because uh, we've got we've had quite a few people involved with the project really the past nine plus months, including myself. We are doubling, if not tripling, the size of our team to handle really the yeah really. Uh, the, the the momentum and the velocity happening for the community. So I think, if anything, this is a testament to uh, to the project. This is a testament to where we're going, but also to the velocity that you'll start to see um, even more so than where we went, where we've been. Whether it be uh, whether it be Venue itself, but also the UI components, the uh, the development experience with the studio, um, et cetera, et cetera. So so thank you. So welcome uh, welcome again. New year, new faces. Uh, again, you'll you'll you've probably seen some names here, wondered who they are. Uh, and now you know, and uh, and the, everybody here is based in uh, on this on this uh, slide is based in Austin here. All right, so a couple process updates. Again, the spirit of, of making this more of a community meeting uh, and and kind of getting beyond uh, getting beyond grooming and making that more of a, a dedicated forum. Um, we've moved to Kanban, so a lot of you that were were with us last month uh, last month when we talked through the demos of really getting getting beyond the sprints and really becoming a more self-sufficient team. And so we've, we've, we've tried Kanban for a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we're watching things like whip limits and others where things like reviews and others are, 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 are a bit in catch up mode, but with now the, uh, now that the internal focus and the reviews are really taking shape, uh, I think we're well prepared for, for what we, what we want to do again, whether it be the, the shopper experience, developer experience, and then the upcoming uh, merchant experience as we start to plan for page builder and so so that's that that that's that uh and so you'll see a lot so what does that mean for for the teams here the people who are listening uh grooming will no longer carry estimates right uh, kanban is, is more about creating a uh, work that is uh similarly sized so we're going to pay be uh special paying special attention to that also means that we are going to be moving away from again this the, the notion of sprints but we will have regular meetings right similar to how this is being done within msi how this is being done with graphql uh, and other projects. And so if you were involved in multiple Magento community projects, this should be familiar. And if it's not, keep us honest uh, from that. And so we want to be consistent with that. Uh, and so, uh, but we will have demos, we will have these types of meetings, and we want your feedback. This, uh, you know, community really has a has an ownership of where we want to go with this. But uh, a lot of the grooming that we've done and things have, it was really just pre-grooming of things that 
uh, that uh, that was community focused. But you know, we've had such great contribution uh, from many of you here. People were saying, "Hey, can I pick up ticket number you know 127?" And they said, "Yes, this makes sense. Assign it and go." You don't necessarily need a meeting for that. And if there's questions or ambiguity, you know, we're always available to uh, to address any of that as they uh, as they come forth. But now that we've got uh, now that we've got a lot of a lot of depth uh, and bench strength here on the team, we're going to be able to go faster. We're going to be able to go faster, well beyond Venya, start to get into things like the components, which I know is a big, uh, big effort of ours, but also uh, uh, things like the upper PHP project and, and the work that that's being done there the past couple weeks, uh, which uh, which James will talk about here in just a little bit. Um, so that'll be that'll be a big of a, sh a bit of a shift, which may be familiar for those who are other 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 Magento projects, but should be uh, maybe may a little bit of a shift for folks here. The other part is preparation for two three one, and so uh, as as much as uh, you know, as much as two three zero is out, uh, is, uh, is is seen in, by by many as a, as a success, both from a from a, an experience feature product perspective and also operational. Um, the work doesn't stop. Uh, two three one, what it what it means to us, has a lot to do with that GraphQL enablement, and so uh, so folks like uh, Misha and others have actually put to, put together a really nice. A uh, really nice chart on the types of enablers, where it means, and what it means to PWA, and we're going to continue to build off of that. A lot of that already in development, a lot of that already built by the community. Some folks even here uh, for that, and so we, you know, we're keeping, you know, we're keeping focused on that. And right now, that that uh, the goal for that is is really the first quarter uh, of of this year. And so look for more updates to that. We will be thinking and looking more towards two through one, but also um, covering REST fallback where where that doesn't make sense. Uh, last but not least, least is Magento events. Uh, you'll start to see a different focus on, on those uh, as, as we start to plan for those, whether they be the, the Meet Magentos, the Imagines, et cetera. And it's really going to be more about uh, empowering the developer community, right? We've got a core product out there. We hit MVP. Uh, but look for workshops. Look for, you know, look for enablers. Uh, uh, Yissa and others are really out ahead on, on what React might mean for the community, what, uh, what the, these enablers might be. But we want to get people's uh, hands-on experience with the product, and, and and not only that, but also start to to look at what you know what the marketplace will look like relative to the extensions, the uh, uh, the sample apps, uh, and really what uh, what that next turn might look like for for the rest of the product. And so that's that's going to be a really big part of the priorities that Andrew is going to be covering here in just a little bit. So just a just a quick uh, uh, a quick reflection on year in review again. For those who are following the work that's happening in Contential, it's it's pretty dramatic. Um, and so the the work to date, uh, again, much uh, with, with you know with much input from the community, is it, it really culminated into what uh, what became the 2.3 release at the end of November. And in that uh, in that as you, as many of you know, uh, came together a both a developer experience and a shopping experience. And so in that we had a basic experience. Uh, we've got everything from from home all the way to a basic checkout with static payment methods. Uh, and has provided us a foundation for for for, for where we want to go. And in many ways, we can we continue to add to that, especially with some of the recent uh, merges on search that uh, both Adrian and the Bar Green team have put together. And so we're continuing to merge, review, and 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 kind of work past uh, a lot of the work that's there. And so all this again is a is a direct result of the work here. All the result the work is a direct result of the transparency with the planning and the roadmap that continues to evolve uh, based on the documentation from Calcaben and others on PWAStudio.io. But again, the work is not done. Some of the part of the 20, some of the uh, big changes in 2018 really had to, had uh, came down to uh, thinking about GraphQL not only as an enabler, but not no longer as a blocker. And so, for those who are who are new to the project, we made a conscious decision to to use as much REST as we could, especially around checkout. That'll get better in GraphQL. And if you look at the GraphQL coverage, again, Misha does a much, uh, much better job of this in the uh, in the roadmap slide for GraphQL and GitHub. Um, a lot of the work is already there. It's checked in. Uh, there's some work that needs to be done around payment methods, uh, especially around credit and debit. Uh, but that is uh, that is to be fast followed. And a lot of that work is being done by the community and and, and is going to be uh, marked, tested, and reviewed for two, three, one. So as we as we made some conscious decisions in that previous slide around around GraphQL coverage and using REST as a fallback. Um, there is a fast following that's happening that's going to enable a lot of these key experiences that you see here that we're pretty excited about. Most of you are already familiar with, but if you're not, uh, know that 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 is uh, that is coming extremely uh, uh, extremely quickly uh, based on some of the initial conversations we've had with uh, uh, with the GraphQL team. So in terms of UX and developments, uh, again, this is something we shared last month, but uh, with a much smaller audience. Uh, you know, we've we've done a lot of work, uh, and and if you look at the work relative to the development complete, but also the UX. We're pretty far ahead on the key commerce experiences, but you can see around CMS, and then if you look at my account, some of those authenticated experiences, and also things like advanced search. Um, you know, we've definitely got some work to do, and so uh, you know, in, in partnership with the UX team, Xiaomi and others, 
uh, you know, our big focus as we look at 2019 priorities is to start extending in those areas, especially around authentication, especially around new coverage around GraphQL, and especially around areas uh, that were that, that were uh, reserved uh, primarily for the Magento Commerce flavor of the uh, of the product itself. And so you'll see a lot more of that in this My Account piece, especially around gift registry, especially around uh, around uh, some of the the other aspects of the project that were there were once again once reserved for for that. So that's kind of 2018 in a nutshell. I I I, I made a conscious decision not to uh, not to necessarily walk you through all the uh, all the stats and potential. I've I've shared some of those in the past, but it's really it's really impressive. Uh, you can see a tremendous peak uh, happening well into uh, to Q4 that you know was often it was you know actually done with without even the help that's recently joined to that. And the, the help is really uh, going to help us be that uh, really be that force multiplier and, and help us get to the objectives and the priorities that uh, that Andrew's going to walk us through. So. So with that, any um, were there any questions on twenty? Any qu questions, comments, or uh, et cetera, before we switch gears into uh, to what's next? All right, very good. Well, I'm going to hand it over to Andrew. All right. So uh, as Eric kind of pointed out here, right, uh, the, the, for 2019, right, we have a lot of uh, there's a lot of things going on for uh, for the team over here, right? We have new members. We're also moving to Kanban. So there's both the immediate, uh, I think. Uh, impact of that in terms of just uh, operational impact, our, uh, our operational cadence, things like that, things that are changing around grooming meetings, right, uh, the, the community meetings. So we'll, of course, be transparent about all those changes and, and, and how that's going to impact uh, everyone involved. And um, I think it'll all be for the better, right? Uh, uh, obviously, it, it should be for the better. <laughs> um, but it's just, in terms of our long-term priorities for 20, 2019, right, uh, nothing is changing. Um, as of now, so the next slide, right? Now the long poles in the tent continue to be uh, completion of any PWA store, storefront. Uh, we're continuing to look at the integration with Page Builder. Obviously, something that's, that's something that wasn't a priority in 2019, but something that uh, we know is important for us over the next year. And then uh, something that Mr. Zetlin can obviously talk uh, in volume about is extensibility, right? So uh, and, and add on top of that that we still have the immediate priorities of. Finishing up image optimization, finishing up the upward PHP and cloud enablement work, right? Um, as well as things like search and payments and, and, and things that we know that we need to get out the door. So uh, lots of things that are going on as we kick off the year. Um, over the next couple of weeks, uh, we have a lot of time dedicated to making sure that we're all aligned as this new team uh, and how we execute this, uh, execute the various pieces of work, right? Um, so uh, we'll obviously keep everybody in the loop on that. Uh, I think the next slide is just kind of a cover, uh, a review of uh, exactly what is already outlined on the wiki and the roadmap, right? This is mo mostly to say, like, we're still aligned to the roadmap as we continue with 2019 planning and as we harden kind of the, 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 the requirements for 2019 uh, in reference to those three items on the previous slide, right? Those will obviously have impacts on the roadmap and we'll continue to update that. And, uh, you know, that'll just stay in the same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, you guys can go to the same reference for looking at that roadmap. And again, we'll be transparent and communicate all of those changes. So uh, a lot of soft talk around what's coming up for 2019. But uh, as we as we continue to, uh, you know, uh, uh, evolve uh, around that planning, uh, again, uh, we'll communicate that outward. Upward and outward. Upward and outward and outward. <laughs> upward and outward. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And that's it for me. Yeah. Perfect. So let's uh, so let's switch gears then to upward. Speaking of which, uh, and so I'd asked uh, in, uh, James to talk a little bit about some of the some of the great work that's happened in the past couple weeks uh, with help from Tommy, Ben, and, and others on, on really the cloud deployment piece, but also some of the Im image optimization work. And so I thought it'd be worthwhile kind of walking through that and, and having James not only kind of uh, talk through those updates, what's coming, but then also answer any questions you might have as well, which I think will be of particular interest to this uh, to this audience. Shall we? <coughs> Shall we? Yep. Okay, so ahead, um, Upward, Upward, for those of you who may not be aware, is the um, middle tier solution that we have come up with for the various scenarios where PWA Studio apps are going to have to be uh, deployed to uh, simple Magento stores that uh, can only render PHP scripts to uh, stores that are based on a more complex uh, 
cloud-based or service-oriented architecture-based multiple container composed uh, topology or to servers that uh, have some other rendering technology that communicate with Magento. All of those types of servers are still going to produce the same PWA. It's going to be based on Venia, it's going to be based on uh, 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 our Peregrine components, it's going to be built with our, our build pack pipeline, so it's going to rely on uh, the GraphQL APIs and on the REST APIs, but it needs to be rendered from an application shell. So. Um, what we came up with in lieu of uh, rendering it from the Magento theme architecture, which you know had some serious disadvantages to it, um, is to create a middle tier specification uh, for the behavior of the back end for front end that serves the application shell and that routes requests from the PWA to the network. Um, and that thing is called Upward. That is a specification for a simple declarative language which describes the things that the middle tier should do. You can think of it as a domain-specific language for a, a sane and reasonable subset of the things that a web server is supposed to do, um, just optimized for the things a PWA really needs. And we implemented a reference client, uh, well, sorry, a reference server uh, implementation for Upward uh, called Upward JS as part of our um, uh, suite of applications in the PWA Studio Mono repository. But we always intended for this specification to be implementable in other languages for flexibility. And of course, the first language, we being Magento, that uh, that began to take place was PHP. This is going to help us tremendously because our cloud environments are much simpler to deploy with the PHP only backend. And many of the scenarios where our partners and SIs are doing deployments are also much, much simpler scenarios if you are using the same either the same server itself or container or the same template uh, or image to, to spawn multiple containers uh, where you can render the PWA and start delivering it to the client with a PHP only backend. So in light of that, um, our internal core engineering team shifted some things around and gave us two senior talented uh, PHP and full stack developers in the form of Ben Batchelet, who is, is he here? He is not. He's not, okay, and uh, and uh, he is on retainer from our cloud management team and of Tommy Weebell, who is here. Uh, wait, is he here? Hi, hey. Tommy! <laughs> who is, uh, with, together with Ben, taking the specification that we have written in the repository and adapting it and writing a PHP server for it. And this is gonna enable a single Magento installation to run the production version of a PWA. The Upward PHP uh, repository is currently uh, live in the Magento Research Organization. If I'm not mistaken, I know that it was recently transferred, and it's uh, open source as anything else that we're doing, and available for your code review, for your commentary, for your tracking, uh, and for ultimately your consumption. Um, we're, uh, we're working hard on this and going to finish it very soon. Um, right now we're projecting within the month of January, and then at that point it's going to be part of our recommended deployment solution for, uh, for Upward. Now part of uh, the process of making Upward available to other runtimes and making it a reasonable and, and feasible way to deploy a PWA is adding some functionality to it. So Upward is also going to gain some default best practices as part of its render pipeline up to and including compression. Uh, we've been asked several times uh, to perhaps use more advanced content negotiation and more advanced algorithms to compress our responses. To that end, uh, we have a branch out that will soon be pull requested and merged into the, um, the release 2.0 branch of the repository that does broadly compression, a Google algorithm that uh, improves on the gzip compression ratio in a number of ways, including the speed of compression and decompression. And we found that even without um, actually doing JPEG optimization on our huge images, it alone, those, that broadly real-time compression can save up to 75% uh, of the size of those images and of other types of assets of that nature. Um, and because it's a CPU bound activity and that's rarely what's causing the delays with your phones, you will find that the actual time to first interaction response is going to improve tremendously as a result of that addition to our code base, which is almost entirely just bringing in a separate library. So very few extra lines of code for us to maintain huge advantages. That's going to come in soon. 
But at the same time, image optimization requires a degree of control over the image's actual dimensions, over its compression, over its format. And to that end, we are adding image resizing ability to the, uh, to the upward uh, configuration specifically for Venia. The catch is we're not going to add it to upward specifically, at least at this time. There's already, of course, an upward two brewing in my head. But for now, what we're going to do is add just a simple idea to upward where it can forward requests based on rewriting a URL um, and then issuing a 302. And in that way, um, we can forward any image request to a resizing service of any kind. If you have a Fastly subscription to Fastly IO, we're going to do it that way. If you don't, then we can either uh, use uh, a feature that we're going to add to the node development server, or um, as the Upward PHP team is working on, maybe somehow leverage the built-in image optimization functionality in Magento. So long story short, um, Upward is expanding dramatically in its usability and in its usefulness to our various deployment scenarios. It's now going to run on two different language runtimes, but with identical behavior. We're adding a lot of performance optimization to its default pipeline, and we're going to give you the ability to um, redirect certain types of requests so that you can art direct and further um, optimize your images. Super exciting stuff, and judging from what our analytics say today, that alone is going to decrease the size of the PWA payloads down to the device by a dramatic amount, and we'll land before our first release. Hold for applause. <laughs> and that's it. That's the update. I think um, I don't have diagrams. I, I, I can very shortly because I'm actually putting something together for Adobe Tech Summit, but uh, there you go. Uh, any questions I can answer? Oh, um, first question, I just want to get out ahead of this. This is Vicuña wool. It is a type of wild alpaca uh, that is uh, populated in the South American sort of east, uh, west coast and range from Peru down to, you know, Chile. Uh, they're wild, but they're um, frequently just gathered and herded up and shorn in a humane way to produce this high quality wool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. No more questions. There you go. So, <laughs> no questions. Okay. Fantastic. Actually, anything else? And so, yeah. Thank you, James, for walking through that. That's really uh, been a big part. I, I know that, uh, what you've been up to in the last couple of weeks, but are really going to give us a big, uh, a big lift in both our uh, both our cloud offerings, but also the performance piece as well. And so, uh, so good stuff there. Um, so, just again, before we uh, before we break here, just kind of kicking out to the audience. Any other questions or comments before we uh, before we break? Okay. Well, very good. Well, thank you so much, everybody. As always, I appreciate your help, uh, your help and support uh, throughout all of this. Again, you know, this uh, this this meeting series will continue in this uh, in this format, and uh, and and grooming and other activities uh, will be done asynchronously, and 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 will be done in uh, in, in much more uh, much more nimble uh, format. And so you'll see a lot of this. I think good example of that is the uh, is the uh, mini carts uh, example that uh, that Adrian picked up where. It's really just a couple of questions for Salmia and Andrew uh, to uh, to then quickly groom and then eventually become something that might be uh, might be workable, right? Something might be developed from that. And so look for a lot of those types of things as the team gets uh, that's demo. If you're looking to help, if you're looking for for feedback or questions, let us know. And so we're we're going to try this model a little bit. If uh, if there's feedback about it, we'll continue to adjust. Uh, but uh, as always, thank you again for your time. Have a great rest of your day and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye.